He's supposed to climb through the hole, you fucking idiot! <laughs> and you hit the fucking wall as well. Yeah, careful. Massive Groot here. Massive Legend here! Comes off just like skin. Ooh. All right. What a goddamn mess. Today, we're opening up something that I've been sitting on a while, which is what I say about everything, and it's true about pretty much everything. This is a rock, rock on, rock, 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 rock on's crystal season. Volpix Jap box. You get a whole bunch of Japanese shit, and um, I guess it's sort of blending together this autumn feel of the original Volpix with the, the Alolan Snow Volpix winter feel and there's like seasons or, or some shit this one's a snow globe and this one's a uh, it's, it's kind of like a, le a leaf globe okay okay I'm a 24 year old man wait a minute is Rakon Volpix? is this the Japanese Volpix? could be alright let's slide off the first layer to reveal the exact same artwork there. Everything looks. Th oh, there we go. We got some some cute chibi Volpix and nine tails. Let's uh, let's crack this little cute chest open. How do we do this? And we just sort of get your fucking thumb in there. There we go. Okay. Let's see what we got. A little gay cute box for for holding your cards. Uh, they always throw these in here. Here's one I prepared earlier from the other very cute. Cosmog box that I opened. There's surely some sort of female marketing here. All right Let's go deeper. What do you know? Just as always we've got 60 sleeves with the Volpix print Fantastic didn't see that coming. Oh wow. We've got some some fucking cardboard and probably what seems to be the best thing is a bunch of Sun and Moon packs and there's a fair few in here. We've got three from each side of these sets. Now, let's take a look at the cute promo cards that you get. Woohoohoo! Almost looks fake! It's so damn sparkly. I wonder who the second one is. Okay, that's actually pretty cute. Yeah, very, very similar to the Lily's Cosmog box. I think those cards were very similar, the sparkly effect. They are promos 146 and 147 for Sun and Moon. It's incredible how many promotional cards they can get through a set. You'd think, okay, Sun and Moon sets haven't even been out that long. They go pretty crazy with it. All right, that's these two cuties done. Let's open up one of these booster packs. Let's see how lucky uh, a Vulpix box exactly is. We've had some pretty good luck in the past from some of these uh, weird Japanese boxes. Let's have a look. We've got Primeape. We've got Big Fat Pig. We've got the Big Weird Fat Rabbit. We've got the little fat pig, and for the final card, we've got a big fat pink angry Wigglytuff. You can see that Weedle is very alarmed. Alright, let's try a blue one. Let's see if we can get anything good on this one to the front. Let's see how we go. We've got... The oh! Oh! Shit! We've got something. I think it's just a hollow. We've got Cactus Man. We've got the little bug. We've got the little Chimeco thing. We've got the slug. Sea slug. It's just a hollow. And we've seen him before, it is Gengar, hiding in the alleyway. Please don't buy anything from this man. He is the pure embodiment of a convicted criminal. Alright, we've done two packs. Now to reveal literally the best thing in the box. This is what I've been waiting to have a look at. Oh, it's just as cute as I thought. <laughs> no joke, this is seriously the only reason I would buy this box. If I wasn't doing a video on it. Um, this very cute metal... Volpix coin. I like that they're doing metal coins now. Let us open the rest of these packs. All right. We've got one hollow, one without a hollow. Hopefully we can get a GX or something. We've got the sexy big thigh dragon. We've got hound dog. <laughs> we've got fish. We've got bird. And we've got bee. Not so great. Up next, we're going to open up a blue pack. Let's strip this down and pull him out. What do we have on this one? We've got crab. Okay, we've got ghost. Up next, we've got goat. And we've got, um... 
We've got Ray Gun. Fantastic. Okay, up next, we're going to open a blue pack. What do we have on this one? One to the front. That puts the rare at the back. That puts the rare at the back, fellas. We've got Pumpkin. We've got Bird. We have Lizard. Up next, Bird. And then, Disc. We've got a disc. Okay. Incredible. Fantastic so far. Up last, I think, we're going to do a red pack. Let's just slide this out. Okay, one to the front. <laughs> We've got land. We have pig. Cow. Fuck. Fish. Fish, fish. Sexy fish. Sexy fish. Okay. It looks It's kind of like its neck is made from the surface of a bowling ball. Those some fucking bowling ball gills. I have said in the past I really do like this melodic though. Looks like we got shit on. Clearly I'm not ending it there though, folks. That'd be a very short episode. We've got a few more things here I can show you. I did want to show this. I, <laughs> I just saw this in Things or something the other day. I don't... I don't actually like drinking beer, but I uh, couldn't resist. We've got the Legends beer mug for Legends only. Uh, I saw one with my mate Jeff's name on it, and I got him one that it says Jeff's beer. Very manly stuff. Okay, that's enough filler. Filler? I hardly know her. It's it's also it's also empty. You know what? I'm actually gonna have to fill this now. All right, I put some chocolate milk in there. What? You guys thought I was gonna fill it up with water? Have you seen the size of me? All right, now we're gonna go into our side packs. These are these are all the ones I've got just chilling on the side. Every now and then, when I need a bit of a time filler, I'll grab one of these. So far, we haven't had too much great luck with them. They are from the exact same set that we just opened from the the Volpix box itself. Let's zoom this bitch in again. Let's try again. Can we do it this time? We've got pig. We've got fish. We've got um. Mouse, we have pink bowl. <laughs> We've got bear. Pink bear. A hollow. Nice. <sighs> okay, I really want to open something good. Feels like it's been a while for some reason. Okay. Here we go. One to the front. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Back to back evolutions. Dino, we've got the, the pig. And we've got a Lolan Raichu. Okay, it's just hollows and trash. Please, just one more. Here we go, this is it, this is the one. One to the front, flip it around. We've got bird, we've got dinosaur, we've got pig, we've got rabbit. Yes! What the fuck, this is like a jellyfish. We've got the GX jellyfish. Okay, I like that. There we go. You know, you know, you know what the rule is. We can stop opening them the moment we actually get something good. Ooh! Ooh! I'll take it. I'm a happy boy. Alright guys, I was trying to save this for... I've had this again, like everything else, for a long time. And I was going to save it for a Final Fantasy specific episode with a bunch of other shit that I've got. But it, I don't think that they're that interesting. These in particular, I know, at least I think, aren't even booster packs. They're theme decks or something. I know nothing about this Final Fantasy card game either. But I've just wanted to open this for the longest time. And I've always been putting it off because I'm like, no, I should do it on video. So I might as well just throw it in here. I've, these were popping off for a while. I don't, I haven't seen anything about them now. By the time I'm opening them... This shit probably failed. We've okay. We've got Titus on the front there from Final Fantasy X. This is a Final Fantasy X starter set. I don't know how many of you even give a single fuck about Final Fantasy. Uh, this is from some of the newer stuff. Final Fantasy XIII. This is Lightning, I think. I hard. This is where I sort of I tried to get back into it, but I I just didn't like it, and then I didn't play the newer one, which I heard was actually not that bad. Another thing that a lot of you guys have been telling me to open is the new Dragon Ball Z booster packs because there is uh, different rarities and things. And there's apparently a lot of cool stuff you can get. They're just like Pokemon booster packs or anything else but with Dragon Ball Z. Uh, so I will definitely be doing that at some point. Um, what's this? We've got Final Fantasy VII, no doubt, with uh, arguably the most famous protagonist, Cloud Strife. The gay boy everybody loves. 
Comment down below if you even give a shit about Final Fantasy and what your favorite Final Fantasy is and your fondest Final Fantasy memories. Final Fantasy was a huge thing for me personally. Um, it's probably one of the, the steps that got me into gaming and helped form my young child brain into all this sort of shit. I remember my older brother playing uh, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, and Final Fantasy 9. PlayStation 1 games, and this was back when uh, you had like, you'd get the big fat cases and you'd have like four discs for one game or so, and you'd have to load in the new disc when you got to a new area. And I used to originally just want to watch him play, and he'd hardly let me in his room, but sometimes he'd let me just sit there and watch him. And then eventually, as I got older, I got to play some of them. And they, they were some of my first games. Okay, so this has a... What is this? This is sort of fucking teaches, teaches us how to play Barrett. This is the big black man with a machine gun on his arm. Okay, so this is what the play map looks like. You've got the field. Uh, you've got the break zone and a bunch of other shit. I've already ripped it. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get too much into this. Let's just take a look at the cards. Let's just nerd out a tiny bit. Okay. Here we go. Let's let's have a look at these. They they look sort of rough. They feel really rough. They they, they almost feel like a bootleg sort of card game. Okay, we've got a lot of clouds for this deck. The backs are very What the fuck is this? What? Why the hell would you mix so many Okay. Yeah, this uh, this looks okay. <laughs> No, I'm sure it's cool. Oh, we've got red uh red 13. The dog. I don't know. I I don't This looks like some deviant art shit, dude. This <laughs> Why would they make it like this? This seems like a fan made this garbage. Can someone else like license this better and make some better cards? We've got Vincent there. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yes, fuck this. We're not we're not going to open any more of those. That's actually a massive letdown if all of these are similar. So who actually made this? I mean, I know it's got Square Enix in the corner. Surely they just licensed it. Made in Singapore. Hobby Japan. Okay, they may have licensed it out to them and they just shat all over it. Maybe there's a there's a better a better company that's done better. I really don't like the look of that shit. All right, let's open a starter deck that uh, we may actually like. I'm just trying to clear out old stock here. This one's a little dusty, and we've got this Heart Gold and Soul Silver Unleashed. Is that what this is? This is kind of old. Uh, Steel Sentinel. Okay, it's starting to look a little newer with all that dust off. Holy shit, that looks... Whoa. This reminds me of the old day. Oh my god! Someone's gonna have a fit. All right, Steelix, show me what you're made of, brother. Here we've... Oh my god. We've got the old playing mat, and we've got the card list, and I'm assuming the counters there. Okay, nice. Let's see what bad boys we got here. The thing about theme decks is they're very boring to go through, because it's it's uh, it's for beginners. It's a deck that starts with a theme that you can play, and then you can, you know, buy booster packs and add to it. But uh, this will probably be the coolest card we're going to see in here, which is this... Uh, Actually, very cool looking Stilix. It's funny that you would kind of regard this as old now, but I mean, 2010, if you think about it, is is a really long time ago now. All right, let's go through here. We've got Steel Energies, and I remember when Steel Energy was not even in the game. That was a time, right? That's not just in my head. Got a lot of Ground Energies, and then what do we got here? Leaf Energies. Wow! Fan fucking tastic! You see why it's not so great going through a theme deck? Really ain't great for an opening. We've got a switch. We've got a switch. We've got a Pokeball. We've got Bill. We've got Bill. We've got a Life Herb. We've got a bunch of trainers. We get it, bro. We get it. There's a lot of trainers in here. Turtwig. Fucking Tauros. We've got Cherubi, the little berry. Fucker. Cherum. We've got uh, Roselia. Ro a shit ton of Roselias. Jesus Christ. Roserade. A uh, little plasticine man. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take that aside. I like the Play-Doh mankeys. Okay. And, okay, a lot of those. Prime Apes as well. And the Onyx. What did you expect? Fuck that. Let's get right back in. I know I'm, I shouldn't do another one of these, but one more to finish today's episode. Uh, let's see what we can get. Come on. Come on. Upside down. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Kakuna. Here we go, the little bear, is that it? Is that it? Angry Wiggly Tough. No, you know what? No, one more, one more. I just can't stop. 
I know, I, I know, I can't stop. One more. We just want one more hollow, okay? Okay! Yeah, we got one more hollow, so we can stop here. Let's see who it is. Let's see who it is! And it's the pink bear. <sighs> Incredible. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please click on screen to view another video and help support this channel. I will see you guys in a period of days after, yes. Yeah. <laughs>